The answer to the post-time brain teaser? Cam Best took a world record time trial of 146-1 in 1993. It's the fastest mile ever in the sport, and it took place in Springfield, Illinois, with Bill O'Donnell in the bike. Welcome back to Post Time. Did you know that August is the most popular month for babies being born? Human babies, that is. But it's springtime when our four-legged family members in harness racing come into the world. And recently at Harrington Raceway, we celebrated the birthday of a Delaware foal and for a good cause. So Linda, tell me, who did you bring out here today and why? Today we brought Red Light and Blue and her baby, Belle, and we're celebrating their birth. This is her first filly and it's our first experience having a filly and we were very excited. So we thought it would be fun to have a baby shower for Blue and for Belle and that's what we're doing today and it's to benefit Horse Lovers United. And the great thing about it is we, we bought a breeding, a stallion breeding to Cam's Fortune and that was through Horse Lovers United, a, a, uh, a fundraiser too. So we're just following through here. How has the mommy and baby been today? Oh, they've been great. They have been great. She's so gentle and she lets everyone pet her. She's just, she just loves people. So it's been fine. Tell me about tonight as far as what people have said to you. Are they surprised that there's a horse in the middle of the courtyard? Well, you know, some people are surprised, but you know, a lot of people came because Linda Chick did a lot of you know letting people know we would be here on behalf of Horse Lovers United. So people have come up and that's the questions. You know, well why isn't she racing? Look how beautiful she is. And I said because this is another aspect of standard race. So it's great people coming up and they're learning more about Horse Lovers United and how we can help the horses that helped us through their main part of their career afterwards. Tell me about the birth and tell me what kind of mommy that red, light, and blue has been. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the actual birth, but I was out there faithfully every two hours checking her. At 4 o'clock in the morning, nothing. Blue was tossing her head around, just being blue. And at 6 o'clock, I looked out and I yelled, Blue! And there was a perfect baby standing on the ground next to its mother. So I ran out and it looked like the whole neighborhood followed me because we all we were out there, all of us had women in our pajamas, what a sight that was. But anyway, Blue from moment of birth has been the perfect mom. She's been very loving and patient. She taught her how to, right away, here's the water bucket, here's hay. She already eats grain. Oh, she's the ideal mother. So I can't say enough about the two of them, I really can't. They have bonded, they're just, they're, they're in great health, and we'll see you in the winter circle. Baby horses are so cute. I just want to pinch their cheeks. Let's get to another race, and the winner is owned by a harness racing mama. In here, number four, Dee's Art Girl, is owned and bred by Forrest Bartlett. The five, Apache Sun, gets the driving services of Vic Kirby. And number six, Valeria, is coming into this one off of two wins in a row. There off there goes Divine Inspiration out with Kiss This Rusty. Ayla Hanover got away in third racing and fourth, D's Art Girl. As they make their way around the turn, Kiss This Rusty gets the lead. Divine Inspiration drops in there, second followed by Ayla Hanover. D's Art Girl came away in fourth racing, fifth Apache Sun, two lanes Valeria, followed by Powerful Storm, and at the end, that save a horse, Ride a sulky, they're midway up the back stretch. The leader is Kiss This Rusty by two lengths. Divine Inspiration is racing in second, followed by Ayla Hanover. That's Dee's Art Girl, who got away fourth racing, fifth Apache Sun. Quarter was 28 and four fifths around the far turn. And Kiss This Rusty has a two and a half length lead. Divine Inspiration sitting in second, followed by Ayla Hanover. In fourth, that's Dee's Art Girl, who's coming to the outside, flushed out by Apache Sun. As they race over toward the half, Kiss This Rusty leads it with Divine Inspiration on the outside, D's Art Girl, Apache Sun follows down inside Ayla Hanover, third over Valeria, then comes a Powerful Storm and Save a Horse Ride, a Sulky 59-1, around the turn once again toward the back stretch. 
Kiss This Rusty has the lead. On the outside, D's Art Girl, Divine Inspiration with the Rail, Apache Sun, covered in fourth with the Rail, Fifth Ala Hanover. And then it's Valeria. They head up the back stretch toward three quarters, and it's Kiss This Rusty by just ahead. Outside, D's Art Girl, Divine Inspiration has the rail. And then it's uh, Apache Sun, followed by Valeria, three quarters and 128 and one around the final turn. Kiss This Rusty continues with a short lead. D's Art Girl is there. Divine Inspiration has the rail. Apache Sun is outside, followed by Valeria. They're at the top of the stretch. D's Art Girl with a short lead. It's D's Art Girl, Apache Sun on the far outside coming through the stretch. Apache Sun, D's Art Girl, Valeria on the far outside. It's going to be D's Art Girl with Apache Sun, Apache Sun. 157 and 3. Apache Sun wins by a neck for owner trainer Betty Jean Lair who's the mom of harness racing talents, Dylan and Damian Davis. The five-year-old mayor gets up in the final stride to win in 157 and three and pays over $20 to win. Valeria was right there for second and Dee's art girl made a big effort and took third with Roger Plant Jr. in the bike. We know driver John Roberts is speedy on the racetrack but we discovered another talent that he's super quick at. That's coming up later in the show, so stick around.